Welcome back to the guys. It's time for another anime review, movie review. Welcome once again to my channel, guys. It's going to be on the movie Zuzume, uh, which is a light novel that um, I think they had up here, but maybe not. Uh, oh, here it is. The light novel that I actually read. It was a movie uh, uh, already. Um, I didn't have my hands on the light novel yet when the movie came out, but the movie came out in theaters and it didn't come out close to where I live. So it released on Crunchyroll and it was set in my list for whenever I am going to have a chance to watch it. And because I read the light novel, I decided to take some time this past week to actually watch the movie. And uh, it's actually a pretty, uh, pretty nice movie, to be honest. Um... Personally, I feel as if I enjoyed the book better than the movie, to be honest. Um, and I'll explain why in a few details in this in this video. But the movie is still on its own a very beautiful movie. And um, I'm honestly um, surprised that I've not talked as much. Um, before anything, guys, if you haven't done so by now, though, please subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. Uh, you guys can find me on social media in the description below. And there is quite a bit of other movie reviews here that I have released. Uh, in fact, this is a pre-recorded video, so probably by the time I f this video releases, I'll probably have two or three other movies uh, lined up. So um, make sure you guys are watching my reviews because that helps my channel grow as well. So um okay the movie you can find on crunchyroll it is both dubbed and subbed it was released on crunchyroll um nice but i, I again i there's a lot of stuff that releases that i put in my to watch list and i just never get to it eventually it's forgotten and by the time i get to it it's already too late the craze is gone this one didn't have a huge craze to be honest i will say the song that is in the movie i don't want to sing it too much so i don't get uh you know monetized or uh striked here but uh it's the da 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 ba, ba. Well, that's not like star wars anyways it's a very common audio on or it was at least in tiktok um so it was nice to hear it i was like oh that's from this movie um so yeah that's i guess one plus thing it didn't have a hit uh we follow the life of suzume and um the adventure that she has with Suota. Uh, now, the light novel does a really good job of the character of Suzume. I feel like the movie does a better job with the character of Suota. Uh, Suota, we do get quite a bit of stuff through the light novel, but it seems like we get more stuff through his lenses uh, or, 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 his, or his POV in the movie, and we get more of his character built up, I guess, more in the movie. The movie itself is two hours long so it's a pretty lengthy movie um if you cut it into episodes you can make about five or six episodes of a regular anime so um that's not including you know recaps and all that maybe you can even make seven or eight episodes if you consider you know intro outro recaps and all that so um the character itself, Suzume, is a young girl, high school girl, uh, who bumps into Suota. Suota looking for a random door. We later on learn that these doors are like a portal to the Everland or like what happens to you when you die. And Suzume is one of the weird, weird cases where she can actually look inside the doors. Uh, Suzume is also the reason why basically everything in the movie happens, which is she removes the key that protects the doors. And Suota then is having to find this key. Uh, the key finds them and turns Suota into a chair. And it makes it difficult, but that's the reason why we see Zuzume in a chair most of the movie. They're chasing after this key who is in the form of a little cat. Um, now, through their adventure, they meet different people, like a single mother who runs a bar and has the craziest children. They bump into another high school girl who lives kind of like in the um, more rural area, and they end up also in Tokyo, where Suzume finds a friend of Sota um, and meets him, and then eventually uses him um, with her um, 
Kant to find Swata once he has turned into uh, something. I won't say what. <laughs> I, I almost ruined it. But uh, yeah, there, it, it, there's a big twist at the end. Um, it feels like um, the middle could have been almost the ending and there could have been a second part. And the second part could have been maybe extended, but um, it is what it is. Uh, there, there's kind of, of a two mission mindset in the entire movie. Um, the romance between Suzume and Sota is cute, but at the same time, it's like Suzume is in high school and he is in college, um, starting to be a teacher. It's like. Uh, there's that gray area. Is it okay? Um, Japanese culture says it's okay. Uh, American culture says it's not. Um, I think a lot of people commented and uh, will comment negative stuff about it because of it. Um, at the end of the day, we just have to consider of who the main audience was. In this case, it was a Japanese audience. So that's why that love interest happens. Um, we kind of get a lot of POVs in the movie that we don't see a lot in the light novel. We do see some of them. We just don't see a lot of them as much as we see in the movie. Uh, what I didn't like about the movie compared to the light novel is that it, it, it seemed a little bit too almost rushed and i guess while reading a light novel you're paced yourself at a slower pace than watching a movie but it seemed like the relationship between suzume and suota happened a little bit too fast for suzume to care as much as she does at the end of the movie um and it, it, it's literally days that happens and you kind of forget that in the actual light novel it seems because they go through so much it seems like three four days is not much but in the movie you you see it and it's like man they just kind of met each other a few days ago why are they so close and it, it goes beyond that i mean there's a psychological sense to Susan May being uh, where in her case not knowing who her parents are living with an aunt th there's a psychological side to it where um, the street way would be she has daddy issues the psychological way is she has traumas that uh, put her at a place of wanting to lean more into a male figure and I think that's why she becomes so infatuated with Swota uh, there is other than her aunt being a parent, it's not really a parent in her life, and at the very least, no male figure. And as a grown man and psychology being part of my job and stuff like that, I, I can only connect it that way and why it makes sense. But at the same time, it's just weird. Um, great movie, great music. Um, I think it's great that it's it's part of Crunchyroll that you can just watch it. I think Crunchyroll should start doing that, be more of like a Netflix to the movies. Um, it had been like that, but it I think for the past year or two, they haven't been releasing a lot of the newer movies. So I think it's great that Crunchyroll is picking up these movies and releasing them through Crunchyroll, both dubbed and subbed. That way, more people are able to watch them and appreciate the the work of art that, it, that they are. So, um, yeah, in a nutshell, that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so by now, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Give some love by commenting, liking, and sharing. And I will see you next time. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.